Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Ari from EntermedSchool.com. Today we are going to have a lesson about microfilaments and intermediate filaments, which are parts of the cytoskeleton inside the cell. The next skeleton is going to talk about the last part of the cytoskeleton, which is the microtubules. Because microtubules are more complicated, I'm going to dedicate this video for microfilaments and intermediate filaments, and the next video I'm going to dedicate for microtubules. So, microfilaments are made for actin. Proteins. Actin proteins combine together in order to make polymers of actin. And many actin polymers combine together in order to twist with each other and to make actin filaments. The actin filaments are actually the microfilaments. The first thing I would like to say that actin filament are dynamic in their length. It means they can increase or decrease their size according to the requirements of the current situation. A good example for it is the last part of mitosis, which is the cytokinesis and telophase. When you have this cleavage furrow between the two future cells, this change in structure caused by microfilaments decreasement and increasement of length. The next thing I would like to talk about are intermediate filaments. Unlike actin rods, intermediate filaments aren't made from a single protein. They are made from several different kinds of proteins. But like actin rods and actin filaments, they do also twist together in order to form a very rigid structure which called intermediate filaments. Unlike the actin, they are not dynamic. They can't increase and decrease their length. You can say they are permanent. Their main role is to provide structural support and resist mechanical stress. So in the next video I'm going to talk about the microtubules. So I will see you in the next video.